Hey everyone, this is Chris Enriquez aka Hyper Neon here today and uh, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of a new Streamlabs chatbot overlay script that I've uh, written and I'm going to be making available to uh, everyone to use um, and uh, there's quite a lot of configuration for it so I thought it would be better just to kind of like throw together a quick video so I could go over all the settings with you. Um, so uh, the basic functionality here is that uh, you basically get these various types of meters um, that you can add onto your, uh, you know, just as an overlay in OBS or whatever other streaming tool you use. Um, and uh, probably OBS, right? Let's be real here. Um, so you, what you see here are actually two different uh, example overlays that I've included uh, with the the, the meter. Um, so you've got this kind of gauge that's going to fill up and what it's going to do is it's going to monitor for various emotes or uh, phrases that, that you want to look for in the chat and as people use those phrases and emotes the meter will fill up. Uh, the, you'll see the spicy Tabasco bottle here will fill up um, and uh, once it gets to 100% hype you can do different things like you can actually if you're using OBS remote you can trigger a scene um, or uh, um, a source in OBS to fire off for a certain amount of time. Um, so it's just some just some fun examples um, that I'm going to kind of walk you through here really quickly, um, just kind of kind of help you understand what it looks like. So uh, first and foremost, first thing you want to do when you load in the script um, is you're going to want to click Insert API Key. Um, I've already done this, but you just hit Yes, and that'll basically that'll load in a custom API key that is going to allow uh, Streamlabs chatbot to communicate with the overlay itself. So uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to hit no. Um, next thing you want to do is you're going to want to click open readme and you're going to want to just take a quick look at this and what it can do. I'm um, just kind of give you, uh, you know, I don't know, some information about what you're looking for. Uh, one quick note is that we've got uh, three additional commands that are added. Um, you can control what level of user you want to be allowed to use the commands uh, in the settings. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but basically, you have um, freeze height meter, unfreeze height meter, and max out height meter. Um, freeze and unfreeze will just basically pause it for a certain amount of time uh, in case you don't want to, to be counting. Um, that you don't want the, the meter to increment, uh, unfreeze will unfreeze it, of course. And then max hype meters, if you just decide, oh, we're only at 25%, but I want 100% hype right now, uh, I want it to go to, you know, just going to hit max hype, and that'll do that. Uh, again, you don't have to use this um, for hype. You could track other things as well. It's just basically tracking chat, right? Um, so, you know, these overlays that I've included are for, you know, they, they're all kind of based around hype, but you can use them as a baseline. You could add in your own images to do other things uh, if you didn't want to use this to track hype, but maybe you just wanted to use it to track general chat involvement or the number of times people use a certain emote, um, but necessar not necessarily call it hype. That's, you know, totally up to you. Uh, so what you have here in this first box are the hype phrases. And so what you're going to put in here is a comma. And, and, and as you go through the settings, you're going to see there's all these uh, pop-ups that you can use to help you out as you're going through and setting all this, uh, setting all this up. Um, but I'll give you a quick overview here. Uh, so you've got your hype phrases. And uh, this is just a comma delimited list. Exactly what you put in here is what it's going to match on. So uh, um, it is case specific. Um, you can put spaces in there, but the spaces have to be in exactly that format. So if you have a comma uh, like this, I, I have so I have two emotes game, you know, my emote, my buddy's emote. Uh, and then um, if I were to put uh, a space here or a space after the emote, it's only going to match that emote if the person uses the emote and then a space, right? Same thing with this phrase. If I don't have a space before the word hot sauce, then it wouldn't match it. Um, if I leave it like this, then it'll match the word hot sauce with one space in the middle. Uh, if you have two spaces, it's going to do that. So you just want to be careful with that, um, that it's an exact phrase, ma phrase match on each of these common delimited lists. You can put pretty much however many that you want on there. Obviously, if you go really, really crazy, it's going to uh, negatively impact performance at a certain point. Um, so the hype level match count, this is just how many of these things you're looking for. So right now I'm saying that 10 matches is going to constitute 100% hype. Um, and so it's going to be looking for these matches within a certain time period, uh, which is your look back minutes. 
Um, so I'm just saying just for the purpose of this demo, I want to see 10 matches within one minute. Um, and it's a rolling one minute window. So as you go through the one minute, things that happened earlier on will begin to fall off. And so you'll see the meter start to degrade um, kind of gradually. It won't just be all at once. One minute has elapsed and everything falls off. This count individual match, um, you can turn that on if you want. If someone were to spam 20 emotes as one at one time in one single message, well, is that 20 matches or is that a single match because it's only one message? So that's up to you. Um, if you do count individual match, it's going to count all 20 matches in that single message. If you turn this off, it's only going to count one uh, match or one message at a time. Uh, an interesting thing you can do is if you don't want to match anything, uh, you could just totally, if you just want to match any chat message at all, um, just to kind of maybe get a gauge on general chat interaction, you could just clear this out, uh, you know, put count individual match to off and any chat, it's going to match on any chat message message whatsoever. Um, so that'll kind of give you a good gauge of general chat involvement if you wanted to have your height meter track that. So I'm going to put these back. Um, so the next thing down here is clip at max height. Uh, I think it's kind of fun if you allow the, if you allow the height meter to go over 100%, um, sometimes, so, you know, if, if people are going really crazy and it hits 120%, if you want to allow that, you can, um, by turning this off. Uh, if you have it on, then it's just going to hit hundred percent and it'll, it'll just stop at hundred percent. Um, reset on max hype. Uh, that's if basically once you hit the maximum 100% hype level, do you want this to reset back to zero or do you want it to just kind of stay at 100% and naturally degrade on its own so that you could go back down to 90, but then maybe hit 100% again, you know, two seconds later, if that's what you wanted. Um, if you do have reset turned on, then you can re you can have a delay. How long do you want to wait until you actually trigger the reset? Um, and then you also have this ability to uh, in, in, uh, initiate a cooldown period um, before the meter will start tracking again for however long you'd like. So basically what would happen in this situation is uh, it's going to reset once it hits 100 after five seconds, and then it's going to wait 60 seconds before it starts counting any emotes again. Uh, and then here's where I talked about the commands. This is your max height meter, freeze height meter, and unfreeze height meter, uh, who, whatever level you want. Um, to be able to do, uh, you can do that here. So I have mine set to moderator, so mods can do that. Um, this next section down is OBS remote. Um, so OBS remote is, if you are using that, um, you're able and you have that linked up to your OBS, you can trigger scenes uh, after a certain amount of time, you can trigger a source and then turn that source back off after a certain amount of time, which is pretty cool. So uh, the way I have this set up is once I hit 100% hype, it's gonna wait 10 seconds, then it's gonna trigger this scene called the hype test two, then it's gonna, uh, so these are, um, these are overlapping, uh, so these are not cumulative, so it's gonna wait 10 seconds. This one is gonna wait a total of 15 seconds, and then it's gonna trigger a scene that I have called Kappa, a source that I have called Kappa. Then it, this one is cumulative. It's gonna wait five seconds after this 15 seconds, um, and then it's gonna turn that source back off. Um, so we'll get into the performance tab right at the end here in a minute, but I just kinda wanted to show you what this looks like in practice. Um, so I've got my chat window open here. Um, and what we expect to see again is I'm going to match any of these phrases. Uh, I'm going to look for 10 of them in one minute. Uh, it's going to reset after five seconds. Then it's going to be on a 60 second cooldown. So it's going to reset after five, five seconds after that, it's going to trigger this scene. And then, um, five seconds after that, it's going to enable the source five seconds after that, it's going to disable the source. So let's see how that looks. So we're going to go into my chat window here and, uh, let me, what, what do I've got? Let's do this chat message. This is my emote. So you should see this start to increment in a second. So there it goes up to 10, right? So I can do a few of those. And as you can see, I have this on, uh, is not counting individual matches. So if I were um, to spam this, it still should only be another 10. Cause that's how I have it configured. Uh, I can use this other emote if I'd like. Spicy should go to 40, right? And then I can just match general phrases as well. 
hot sauce, right? It's gonna go to 50. Um, but like I said, if I were to do, uh, it's only doing exact freeze matches, so um, it might not count um, this. But actually, I think that will count because it's still a, an exact freeze match. I don't have the space in here, but if I were to add the space in here and then save my settings, now it's not going to match a regular hot sauce because it does not have. Oh, and as you can see, we've hit the 60 second window. So now it's starting to degrade. Um, and so you see it's not matching that hot sauce. But if I put a space before it, we should see it go back up here to 40 as long as our timing doesn't make it cancel out. <laughs> and it's going to cancel out. That's okay. So we'll do a couple times. So space, hot sauce, so you can see that. Should be able to get it to go up here. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm a liar. Did I not type that right? A hot sauce. There it goes. Okay, so now it matched the space there. So now let's get rid of the space, save settings. Now let's see what happens when we go to max hype. So let's just spam this in a few messages. We'll get it to start going back up. There we go, we're at 70. And you see it's gonna stop at 100. We're gonna get a nice little GIF explosion there because that's how I have this particular overlay. It's gonna reset. Now it's gonna switch my scene. Here we go to this other scene, and then you're gonna see the source is gonna activate for five seconds. Kappa, the source is gonna turn off, and then that's it. And so now when I go back to my previous scene, you're gonna see that I'm in a cooldown period. So it's actually not going to track anything. Um, this just will not work for 60 seconds because that is the cooldown that I have configured um, right here after reset cooldown. Um, after that time, if we give it a second, uh, it should kick back on. While we're waiting, I want to take a quick second to talk to you about the performance tab. Um, so the way I have this set up is it's actually um, counting emotes um, in blocks of time. And so all that really matters to you is that once, uh, instead of tracking every single message in the exact time time that it occurred, I just look at the number of messages that happened in a certain time window. And that's what this block length is. But the way the degradation works is I actually drop entire blocks off of the back of the timeout window, of the look back window. So if you have a five second block and you got 100 emotes, 100 matches within that five seconds, once that five second block rolls off the back of this look back window, all 100 of those messages are going to fall off of your match list at once. And so this allows you to kind of fine tune um, how the degradation works. If you, you know, um, if you kind of start to ramp this up and make it like a 60 second block and you also had a 60 second cooldown, well, then it's going to be your rolling window is not going to be much of a rolling window and it's going to be more of just like a step function. Um, similarly, the tick time is just how often do you want to run essentially? How often do you want this script to run? Uh, so I'll right now I just have it set to five seconds in five seconds. You probably don't ever need to worry about that. Um, it seems to run really, really well as is, but if you start having some performance issues, you might want to come here and start to tune it. Um, this is also, this tick time is also how often the overlay will update. So I have it, so it's only going to ever update every five seconds with the next status. So if you have some things that fall off that, you know, because the meter degrades and you also have some things that increment, it's just going to be the net sum change every five seconds is going to get sent to the overlay. Um, so by now the 60 seconds should be up. Um, whoops. So I should be able to start tracking again automatically. There it goes. Um, I can also, like I said, we can freeze hype meter. So that'll lock it in place. Now it shouldn't track anything, which it doesn't. Then I can unfreeze hype meter. And then it should track up to 30. 
and then I can max height meter and we'll see it go just straight up straight away to 100% there it goes kaboom and it's gonna re-trigger all of my stuff again. So it's gonna switch my scene. There it goes. After five seconds. After five more seconds, the kappa will pop up. After five more seconds, it will go away. And then that's it. And then another 60 second cooldown has begun. So that's it. Um, that is the height meter. Um, I spent a good amount of time working on this. Um, you can feel free to reach out to me uh, on uh, Twitch at Game Tangent. Send me a whisper if you want to chat there. I also go by D Game Tangent in the Discord bot. Uh, sorry, in the Discord channel, the, the Streamlabs uh, Discord channel. So you can find me on there. I'm always on there. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions or help you kind of like set this up. Um, uh, the, the real kind of uh, crux of everything is um, if you go into the script folder, um, and uh, you're gonna go into your uh, height meter and you can see here's your three overlays in each of these files um, if you want to start tweaking the overlays I, I recommend you kind of like take a look at that um, it, it, it's pretty straightforward but obviously you, you know you're gonna want to maybe adjust your images to be something else or um, you're gonna need to start working with the, the height and the size and the number of pixels that it animates at any given time um, but maybe, you know, give it a start with just the, kind of the basic overlay that you just saw, the little gauge that you saw, um, and then start uh, tweaking it from there and uh, have a good time with it because I think it's going to be a lot of fun for people to use. So again, my name is Chris Enriquez, aka Hyper Neon, and uh, enjoy everyone.